Hi everybody, I'm Adriana and welcome back to my channel and wow am I excited to be spending a day with you guys. Today we have a fun day plan because today we are going to be doing a little shop and decorate with me for Christmas video. I'm also going to throw in um, making my Christmas bucket list at the end and we're just going to spend the day together. We're going to have a good time. We're going to finally send out my wedding invitations and it's going to be great and wow do I miss talking to you guys. Do I miss reading your comments and writing to you guys. It's been a busy time. Time. But before we get started with all the fun holiday festivities, I'm gonna go ahead and give you an update on where I've been just so we are all on the same, same page. Y'all know where I've been, what I've been up to, and I can share with you guys kind of the developments of what's happened the past couple weeks. So I didn't post, I think, a video for like three weeks there, I think. I think um and in that time it has been very busy around here my mom's wedding happened and that was a beautiful outdoor wedding I took photos for that and it was absolutely beautiful it didn't rain it was a little windy but we got beautiful photos they had a beautiful day everybody had a ton of fun everything was super safe nobody was sick nobody got sick thank Jesus um, and it was a great time so that wedding happened that was great one more down which means one to go and that's mine then following that wedding I had a full week of photo shoots again thank Jesus because he has just been bringing me clients for photos which has been such a blessing especially right now without a normal job that's kind of been my full-time job right now is taking photos and doing YouTube and all of that stuff so I got a lot of photo shoots in during that hiatus I did one photo shoot with one couple at all four parks of Disney World in one week it was quite the time that we had a blast and got a lot of really great photos in again super safe um, had masks on the whole time the only time I ever took photos of them without their mask on was in like super secluded like super duper secluded areas where literally not a soul was in sight so we were super duper safe and got beautiful photos from their trip um, and then I also had some grad shoots I've got some maternity shoots coming up it's been a time so thank you for those who have been praying for me on that aspect um, because we have been seeing the Lord's hand in that and I am super thankful for that so we got photo shoots in we got wedding and I started a part-time job I am currently working part-time with a wedding stationery calligraphy and signage company um, it is a small business here in Central Florida and they make absolutely beautiful things I'm not totally sure if I can actually share the name with you guys but I'll ask them and then I can actually show you guys because if any of you guys are planning weddings they're your people because wow their stuff is beautiful so it has been an awesome time just being able to first off be around people <laughs> um and not be in my house all the time you know I love my family but also it's just so nice to see other people in different faces and talk to different humans especially for my extroverted soul I just like want to talk to people and so that lets me do that um, while also being surrounded by pretty things and their cutie little dog Stella so it's been a fun time over there and yeah so things have been busy I've applied to a couple of like freelance positions and things like that I have a really fun website project coming up lots of things are happening robert and i went apartment hunting which hopefully you guys have already seen that video by now our apartment hunting video um i already uploaded it it was supposed to be uploaded on tomorrow's tuesday so it should be uploaded for you to watch and if it is i'll go ahead and tag it up here i can never get this straight i never know what corner is which but i will tag it so that you guys can watch it we found the apartment of our dreams i emailed them today and just like figuring out some details um, for the application because wow oh wow is applying for an apartment really difficult when you're self-employed <laughs> um so we're gonna figure that out but it's absolutely perfect it's absolutely beautiful so please be praying for that and that that apartment that apartment can be ours um and that the lord's just favorite over that apartment in our lives right now and just figuring things out bringing jobs for more consistent clients and jobs for me and for Robert and just things like that so that we can enjoy the season to the fullest without stress <laughs> but we did find that apartment I'm absolutely in love with it go check it out because that could be the future home of my videos from here on out and it's just gonna be so exciting and I have so many fun like apartment furnishing videos and like like creating like a dream board for it and all that and then of course moving in and I'm just I'm just thrilled so we're really pumped about that our wedding invitations are going out today they're done signed sealed and need to be stamped so we're gonna go to the post office before we start shopping but that leads us to today it's been a busy couple of weeks but it's been fun and even though some of it has been stressful I am just so excited to be back chatting with you guys and we are going to spend lots of time together in the next couple of months so 
get ready. But with that being said, let's go ahead and send those invitations out, get some Starbucks, do some shopping, and let's do some decorating. Before we head out and go to the post office, I wanted to actually show you guys um, all of the wax seals that I did. And I know that I've talked about this before with you guys, but every single time I stamp these invitations, I felt so happy. <laughs> I am so in love with these wax seals that if I could have just sealed it all over the place, I would have. And so I'm going to show you guys. Like, just look at how pretty that is. My goodness, I'm in love. And this is how we ended up doing the names in this really pretty script. And I'm obsessed. and I'm gonna have you ignore the super blown out background. I didn't feel like turning around because I'm so excited. Um, one of the updates I have for you guys is Robert and I bought our wedding bands. Um, mine is not here yet, but when it is, you can guarantee I'll show you, but his just got here. And so we're gonna open it up and I'm pretty pumped to see what it looks like. I'm nervous. <laughs> we ordered it on Etsy because we just couldn't find a retailer with like, nice ones like they were all boring i felt like and like the one that we really wanted um the company like was like sold out and they were like mm, i don't know when we'll ever get a restock of this and like what he wanted and what looks best on him is like a very specific dark gray not black but a dark gray um and he wanted gold on the inside so that's what we got and i'm i'm nervous but let's see oh he's gonna like this Oh. <laughs> I hope it fits him. Oh, it's cute. I like it. It feels heavy too. Like it feels good. I'm always skeptical when I order something that's gold off of Etsy. Um, because I'm just like, I don't have proof that this is actually gold. But everybody in the comments is really happy with their purchases. And so this is what we got him. I hope that's focused. And so it has like the dark gray on the outside, which I really like. And it has like these stripes on the outside as well. And then gold on the inside, which I think is really cute. When we take like pictures of our rings together, it'll be really cute because like the gold on the inside will like match the gold of my ring. I like. Anyways, I'm a big fan, so I'm excited about his ring, and I'm excited to see it on him, and I hope that it fits, and I hope that he loves it. If he doesn't love it, we can always return it and keep our search, um, but I really hope that he loves it. <laughs> Alrighty, friends, so it is time to start putting things out. Turns out I don't have as many Christmas decorations as I thought I did, and I wish I realized this when I was shopping, because I was under the impression that I had far more trees than I actually do. So I might have to get more of those, <laughs> but um, basically I'll show you guys what I do have right now. I have this really pretty wire brush tree that I got from Target. I'm obsessed with the color. I love this one. And then I have this other wire brush tree that I want to say is from Hobby Lobby from last year. It has like little ornaments in it. It's super cute. And then I have this pom-pom garland that I'm going to find a place to put it. Uh, and then oh, I'm obsessed with this. I have another garland, um, and this one's going to go in the place, um, like, right 
over my or my window is or my sliding door I guess you could say where I put the pumpkin garland um, for the fall but this is so cute I got it from Target it's from the Opal House collection and it's like an advent calendar garland and it has the days of like the 25 days of Christmas and it has this little teeny tiny I want to say it's mistletoe it's it's stuck in there right now it has one of those little plastic thingies um but you can like move it every day that goes by throughout december and i think it's so cute i adore the colors on it it's absolutely beautiful the numbers are embroidered in like gold thread and i i saw it i fell in love with it and i got it so i'm a big fan of that another thing i got was this blanket so for the fall i bought this yellow color one and honestly like i have this chunky knit blanket here that i adore but as much as i love it i feel like it needs to be paired with a colored blanket because if not it's just like the room is void of color and colors are happy so i'd like to have colors in here and, and it just like makes it feel like i actually like transition the room into another season and so i love this for the fall i'm going to keep it so that i can use it in our home um or in like our little apartment later but i loved this color and i felt like it matched the little trees oh it matches the trees perfectly so i'm going to switch out the yellow one for this color it's really pretty really soft got this from home goods and then i am waiting on one more thing to get here i did an order pickup from target for this i will scooch over so i can put the picture in here i bought this um holiday banner from target it's also from the opal house collection i felt like it matched the um advent calendar banner or garland really well and i absolutely adore it i fell in love with it the moment my eyes laid on it i ordered pick i did an order pick up from target and then they were like oh actually it's not in stock and i was like of course it's not um so they're mailing it to me and i got a notification that it shipped today so it should be here by friday so i will put a picture in here of it whenever I get it where I'm gonna put it I'm going to put it right over here whoa hand there <laughs> I'm gonna put it right over there where I have the sunny days ahead banner I feel like that's the perfect place to put it um and that matched really well in the fall because it was like that deep yellow color but this is gonna be perfect for winter so we have those decorations honestly not as much as I thought I had um I know I have a Christmas pillow I have a Christmas tree pillow that I loved that I got from the Target dollar spot last year um and I had it in my apartment in Gainesville and I know that I brought it here where it is I have no idea I also have a pink Santa hat that I like to put like back here on um the side of my bed no idea where that is either so i will locate those but in the meantime let's go ahead and take out all the pumpkins in this room switch out the blankets put the christmas trees up and get to decorating got them <laughs> for today i love my garlands love my little pom-poms love my christmas trees i will honestly probably add more decorations throughout the christmas season and i will be sure to show you guys but for now that is all but i did want to share with you guys my christmas bucket list so that we can cross off our bucket list together um, and then hopefully give you guys some ideas of what to do honestly a lot of these are pretty florida specific but 
I would love to hear what you guys have on your Christmas bucket list so I can add it to mine and really enjoy this season, especially because it's gonna be my first or my last one as a single lady. Not that that changes anything, but still. I'm like somebody who gets very, like, not nostalgic. I wouldn't say sentimental either, but I'm just like, especially aware of like firsts and lasts, if that makes sense. Let me know if you get me on what I'm saying here. And so, I don't know, I just wanted to be special. Like this one's gonna be super special because it's my last one unmarried and the next one's gonna be super special it's gonna be my first one married. So I'm really excited. So let's go ahead and share those. Before we do that, I remembered that in the last video I filmed before I took my little hiatus, I told you guys that I started reading this book series called The Selection. And y'all, it was real good. <laughs> um, I finished like all three books in like three days. Technically there's five books in the series, but the last two are like not the same storyline. Um, and I really liked it a lot. Netflix is about to make, I think a TV series about it. So get ready for that. But if you like The Hunger Games and you like The Bachelor, you're gonna like it so i couldn't recommend it enough also if you're looking for something to watch this christmas season dash and lily on netflix was super duper cute and it was like a mini series that was adorable so with that being said let's go ahead and get into my christmas bucket list so um the first one is to go to disney springs so yes i'm a florida girl i've got disney down the block if you're new here um i want to go to disney springs it's always fun to walk around the shop because kind of like a mall now um and then just like look at all the, all the fun little disney merch all the christmas decorations and they no longer have their christmas tree trail they now have the christmas tree stroll um which i actually prefer um and they have a bunch of themed trees scattered around Disney Springs. It's kind of like a little scavenger hunt, which I think is really fun. And then the second one on my bucket list is to drink hot chocolate. And my favorite hot chocolate is from Ghirardelli at Disney Springs. So I'm gonna double whammy that one up. <laughs> um, the third one is to bike ride and look at lights in Celebration. The Celebration is this really cute little town in Central Florida. It was owned by Disney once upon a time. I actually showed you guys Celebration once um, when I did a little picnic with Robert. So I think that was my little pumpkin pie video if you guys watch that one um and all of them have super cute houses in that neighborhood and they all decorate their houses with the cutest lights so with the weather being so nice i just want to take a bike ride and look at all the lights and i think that'd be really fun the next thing on my list is ice skating i have an ice skating rink so close to my house and i never go and i absolutely adored ice skating when i was younger so i really just want to do that um this christmas season i want to go back to magic kingdom because the last time i went they had the christmas decorations up but i was like on work mode because because I was doing a photo shoot and so I was just not soaking it in the way I should have and so I want to go back. The next thing on my bucket list is to watch all the Santa Claus movies. I don't know about you guys but when I was younger the Santa Claus movies defined everything I knew about Santa. Everything I believed about Santa was from the Santa Claus movies and so it's not Christmas if I don't watch all of them. It just doesn't. The next thing is to go to a Christmas tree farm. So here in Florida there is a place called literally Santa's Christmas Tree Farm, I'm pretty sure, in Eustis, Florida, I believe. And I don't know if they have any sort of like festival or like food trucks or offerings like that, but I know that it's just like a farm of like Christmas trees everywhere and I really want to go to that. So I'm excited about that. Um, I want to make time to do that for sure. Next thing I'm gonna do is go to Give Kids the World. So if you guys don't know what Give Kids the World is, it's kind of like a themed resort for Make-A-Wish children. Um, and I don't believe they're hosting any Make-A-Wish children right now, but Disney recently donated a ton of lights to Give Kids the World and they created like this whole like experience of lights. And I don't know if you guys are Disney fans, but once upon a time Disney had in Hollywood Studios before Galaxy's Edge was a thing, they had the Osborne awesome family spectacle of lights and it was like this whole like experience i have a feeling the lights that they donated to give his the world were those so i'm excited and i really want to see them the next thing is i want to go to the mall because i feel like it's not christmas if i don't go to the mall probably because i never go to the mall unless it's christmas so hopefully it's safe i'll have to look into that and see how busy it is but i do want to do that um, the next thing is to try eggnog so i actually tried eggnog a couple days ago but it had whiskey in it and it was disgusting <laughs> so i have a feeling it will be far better without that so i would just like to try plain old regular eggnog um without whiskey because that was so gross <laughs> um but yeah so i would like to try eggnog 
the normal way please <laughs> um the next thing is i would like to do more christmas family photos for christmas cards and stuff like that i think that would be really fun um i want to read through the book of matthew and the bible and read about the life of jesus during this month because that is the reason for the season sorry you guys i'm moving around because this whole time change has the lighting situation very odd and i am trying to oh for this last one, I'm just gonna hold this notebook up right here because this time change has the lighting situation not ideal. But the last thing on my bucket list is to visit a Christmas town. And by this, I mean, I really, 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 there's this Christmas town in Georgia, I believe, this town where Hallmark films a lot of their Christmas movies. And it's like a whole experience because, like, the whole town is like, christmas out like decked the halls are decked to the max um and i don't know what we're doing for my bachelorette party um my maid of honor and matron of honor are planning it and so it's in december i don't know what we're doing i know that was a thought it was a concept for my bachelorette party to go to like on a road trip to georgia and like visit the christmas town i don't know if that's still a thing but if it's no longer a thing, I'm going to make that happen because I desperately want to go. So I really, really want to do that, whether it's with Robert, whether it's my family. I don't know who's going to join me on this trip, but I'm going to do it. So I really want to go there and visit that. And that was my Christmas bucket list. And if you guys have anything to share that is on your bucket list, let me know so that I can celebrate the season to the max. And with that, thank you guys so much for spending the day with me. I love you guys, and I will talk to you next time. Bye!